Now that we have both our outflow and inflow, we can get to the meat of what this policy question is dealing with, which is the net inflow or net outflow. So we don't necessarily care so much about whether there was an outflow or an inflow. We care about what the net is. Was it an inflow from a particular state or was it an outflow by year? To compute net inflow or net outflow for each of our variables of interest, we first need to combine our cleaned inflow and outflow worksheets. To do so, we're going to move to the join menu which is the purple box that is right next to the preparation menu. And we have two join options. We have the first join option, which allows you to join two data sets. And then we have the join multiple, which would allow you to join a bunch of data sets together. There's no limit on the number. To join the data sets for our inflow and outflow, we're going to go ahead and select the join. And we're going to move it onto the, what, the blank space in our canvas, somewhere between the outflow and inflow containers. Notice that we did not create an automatic connection when we did so. So now we need to tell the join tool which of the steps previous to that are going to be used to combine the data sets. Our data is contained within the T anchor of the filter. So we're going to go ahead and click on the T anchor from the outflow workflow and we're going to drag that down to make the connection with the L or left side of the join. We're going to repeat that process for the inflow where we click on the T and drag it up but this time we're going to connect it to the R input anchor. The R stands for right. What we're going to see is now we can start to configure this tool. Essentially, when you're joining two data sets, you have to let Alteryx know how you want to match the information in both data sets. We do so through the configuration window by telling it to join by specific fields, or you could join by record position so that number one, the record number one is matched to the record number one in both data sets. But we're gonna join by specific fields, and the field that we're gonna join on is state ID. Recall that the state ID is a unique identifier for all of the states in our data set. When we, use, when we select the state ID by selecting it from the drop down menu, Alteryx will automatically look into the right file, the file that's being joined on the right side, to see if there's another column named state ID. And if it finds it, it will put it in there and automatically match it for you. If it does not find it, then you would use the scroll bar at the bottom to go ahead and find, through using the drop down menu, which field you would like it to connect to on the right file. In addition, it adds another layer of joining so that if you want to match on multiple criteria, you can go ahead and repeat that process. For this data set, we only need to match on state ID, so we're done. The next thing is now we can look at and start to see what is going to come from the output anchors. The L output anchor is going shown over here in our configuration window and basically what that's going to show us is the observations that came from the left side data set that were not able to be matched. The R output anchor is going to show us the observations from the right side data set that was unable to be matched. And then the J anchor is going to show us the observations that were able to be matched from both data sets. The final configuration option in the join tool is to get rid of duplicate columns or fields. Here we have the first four columns repeated in both data sets. We only need that once, so we can go ahead and unselect all four of those from the right file, or if you prefer, unselect them from the left file, just as long as you have it in there once. In addition, you could move columns and their positions by simply clicking on it and dragging it up or down. Finally, there's another unknown, so we can go ahead and uncheck that unknown column. Now that we've completely configured our tool, we can go ahead and hit the Run button. And if we click on the left, we see that there were no observations that it was not able to match on the left hand side. We also can check on the right hand side and see that there were also no observations that were unable to be matched from the right hand side. 
Again, these multiple anchors are very useful for people that either need to review your work or who want to replicate your work or for you to go back and revisit what it is that you've done. It helps you to troubleshoot. It's, it's very beneficial to have this. Finally, if we click on the J, we will see our complete data set, including all of our states, and they've now been sorted alphabetically and numerically. And then we also have both our outflow and inflow data that we had um, obtained from the previous data sets.